Hello everyone, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we are going to create this. If you would like to follow along with the files I used in this project, I will link a link in the description below. Before we continue let me give a shout out to our video sponsors today, TubeBuddy, the best tool for your success on YouTube. Use the first link in the description to get the tool for free. As usual, let's create a new composition and name it as Clip Mask. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and the duration to 10 seconds. To start with you can use the shape layers in the toolbar, but in this case, since we want to create a custom shape, let's head over to Illustrator. But if you want to continue with these shapes, you can skip this illustrator part and use the timestamps in the description to get to the next step. I have already created my custom shape and this is how it looks. In the layers panel, I have separated the different elements in my designs since I will use them separately in the After Effects project. Let us save this file as shape layer and output format as Adobe Illustrator. Let's head back to After Effects and import the files. Choose the Illustrator file and set the import as composition, then import. Also, import the image that you want to use in the clipping process and set the import as parameter to footage. Now drag and drop the shape layer to the timeline and double click to open the composition elements. In the shape layer composition, Drag and drop the image footage. Click both the image layer and layer 4 and create a new composition. Let us name it Mask. Make sure that the Move All Attributes into the New Composition option is checked. Double click the Mask composition to open its components. Resize and reposition the image layer such that it covers a significant part of the layer beneath it. Here is where the interesting thing happens, just click on this preserve underlying transparency element. And as simple as that you have clip masked your object or image. Let's now create some motions on this element. Press P to open the position parameter. Move to about 2 seconds and set a keyframe. Head back to the start of the timeline, change the position in such a way that it is out of the visible area, and set a keyframe. Highlight both keyframes, go to keyframe assistance, and easy ease them. Or you can just press the F9 button on your keyboard. Highlight the keyframe again and head over to the graph editor and play along with the graph. Play the sequence and see if it's to your liking. In my case, this is OK. Head back to the Clip Mask layer. Go to about 1 second press S to open the scale parameter, set the scale to 100% and add a keyframe. Go back to the first frame of the sequence in the composition and set the scale value to 0% and add a keyframe. Highlight both keyframes, go to Keyframe Assistance and Easy Ease them. Or you can just press the F9 button on your keyboard. Head over to the graph editor and play along with the graph. Let's edit the graph in such a way that we get a fast scaling at the beginning and a delayed scaling at the end or vice versa. Finally, let's create a background for this project. Right click, head over to New, and choose Solid. Let's name the solid layer as BG and choose a white color and click OK. Rearrange the layers in a way that the BG layer is beneath the shape layer. There we go, it is as simple as that. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. In the meantime stay safe.